Have you ever pondered how a small city on the banks of the Tiber River became the heart of a civilization that dominated the known world? Picture Rome, just a modest settlement, destined to become the epicenter of an empire. Legend has it that the city was founded by Romulus and Remus, twins who were nursed by a she-wolf and later embroiled in fraternal conflict. Romulus emerged victorious, naming the city after himself. From this mythical beginning Rome grew, evolving into a republic around the 6th century BCE. Governed by senators chosen from the ranks of Rome's wealthiest citizens, the republic set the stage for Rome's rise to power. As Rome expanded, it faced conflict and competition. The Punic Wars, waged against the formidable city-state of Carthage, stand out as a defining period of early expansion. Rome's victory cemented its status as a burgeoning power. This was just the beginning of a journey that would change the world forever. Imagine a civilization where culture, technology, and power converged to create an unprecedented golden age. This was the Roman Empire, a beacon of progress that rose from the ashes of a faltering republic. The transition from republic to empire was not without its share of drama and bloodshed, with figures like Julius Caesar and Augustus playing pivotal roles. Caesar's audacious ambition and Augustus's wise governance laid the groundwork for an era of prosperity and growth. At its zenith the Roman Empire spanned vast territories, from the arid dunes of Africa to the foggy highlands of Britain. This was a time of remarkable advancements in various fields. The Romans left their architectural imprint with grand edifices and intricate road networks, literary masterpieces flourished, and a comprehensive legal system was established, the echoes of which can be heard in modern jurisprudence. But even the mightiest of empires can't escape the sands of time. How does a civilization that stood robust for centuries crumble to its knees? It's a question that has perplexed historians for ages. The fall of the Roman Empire wasn't a sudden catastrophe, but a gradual descent into chaos economic crises played a significant role. With inflation running rampant and trade dwindling, the empire's wealth was steadily eroding. Military overreach was another critical factor. The empire had stretched itself too thin, unable to defend its extensive borders from invasions. The Roman legions, once a source of pride and power, were now a drain on the empire's resources. And then, there was the internal corruption. The empire was riddled with power struggles, political assassinations and a staggering level of bureaucratic corruption. All these factors culminated in the split of the empire and the eventual sack of Rome by the Visigoths, a moment that marked the end of an era. The once mighty empire was no more, leaving behind a legacy that would shape the future. What happens when an empire falls? Does it simply vanish, or does it leave something behind? Let's ponder on this for a moment. The Roman Empire, in its rise and fall, left an indelible mark on the pages of history. It shaped the very fabric of our modern existence from law to language, architecture to governance. The Roman law, a sophisticated system of civil jurisprudence, laid the groundwork for many legal systems across the globe. Latin, the language of the Romans, blossomed into the Romance languages we know today and peppered the English language with thousands of words. The grandeur of Roman architecture continues to inspire our cityscapes, their domes, arches, and aqueducts, a testament to their ingenuity. The Roman Republic with its checks and balances informed the democratic systems we cherish. The Renaissance, a period of cultural flourishing, was a direct consequence of the rediscovery of Roman intellectual thought. Indeed, the Roman Empire, though fallen, paved the way for the modern Western world. Though the Roman Empire fell, its echoes continue to resonate in our world today. We have traversed centuries witnessing the rise and fall of a great empire. But what have we really learned? We've seen Rome rise from its humble beginnings as a small city-state to become an awe-inspiring behemoth, stretching its influence across the known world. Its golden age was a time of unparalleled prosperity, cultural sophistication and military might, a period that left an indelible mark on the annals of history. But as with all great empires, Rome too had its twilight. Internal strife, economic instability and external pressures led to its downfall. Yet in its decline we find lessons about the fragility of power and the cyclical nature of history. Even in its fall Rome's legacy endures. Its influence on law, politics, architecture and culture continues to shape our world, a testament to the power of civilization's enduring spirit. The story of Rome is a testament to the power of human ambition, the impermanence of glory, and the enduring influence of the past on the present and future.